Hello and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video we're going to show how we can set up a curved pointer asset so we can point around our scene. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. So we have a basic Unity scene set up with a simple floor and some simple objects that we can interact with our curved pointer. So to start with, we're going to bring in the curved pointer Tilia asset and we do that by going to window, down to Tilia and then to the package importer and then look down our list and we want to find the indicators object pointers package and we'll click add to add that to our Unity project. And when that's added, we can close down our package importer window and now we just want to add our curved pointer asset to our Unity project hierarchy and we do that by right clicking on the hierarchy, going down to the Tilia menu then to prefabs and then we have indicators, object pointers and we want to add the object pointers curved. And now that's added to our scene, we need to set some things up on the pointer facade. The follow source is the source that the pointer will follow around the scene. The activation action is how we turn the pointer on and turn it off. And the selection action is how we would make a selection with a pointer. For the follow source, usually what you would do is simply just get it to follow around one of the left or right control aliases. But because we're using OpenXR in this example, what we want to do is use an OpenXR pose. So in a previous video, when we included the Unity input system, we also included some samples from it. So if we go and look in our samples folder, and then in the Unity input system folder, and then if we drill all the way down into generic XR, we'll have the Unity input system poses generic XR prefab. We can grab, drag and drop that into our scene. And if we expand this and then expand our right controller, we have three different options for three different poses. And for this one, we want to use the right pointer. And that will mean whatever the pointer position is set up in our OpenXR controller, it will orientate correctly for us. So we can close down our tracked alias and then on our object pointers curved, because we want this to follow around our right controller, we're going to use the right pointer pose. And now we can collapse this down. And what we want to do now is set up our activation action and our selection action. So in our input action mappings, we'll expand that. And then again, because this pointer is for our right controller, we'll expand our right controller input actions. And this is going to work by using the thumbstick. And all I'm going to have is when we touch a thumbstick, our pointer will activate. And when we press our thumbstick, our pointer will select. So we grab the right thumbstick touch and drag and drop that into our activation action. And we grab the right thumbstick press and we grab and drag and drop that into the selection action. And then we can collapse this back up. And there we go, we've set up our pointer in our scene. So let's jump into the scene and see that working. So now we're in the scene, we can see if I touch my thumbstick, the pointer appears and we can move it up and down the objects in the scene. And if I was to release my thumbstick, the pointer disappears. And if we had an action set up to our selected action, such as teleport, pressing our thumbstick down would cause us to teleport. And there we go, we've set up our curved pointer. I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.